Hi, um, so we're going to look at um, the question under three dimensional space and um, um, the question requires us to find the equations uh, of the line, okay? So sometimes you are looking for the equations of the plane, sometimes you're looking for the equations of the line and the like. Yeah, so um, the question that we have reads, uh, find the parametric equation of the uh, for the lines um, in the following. So the first one we are given to say, uh, we are given A, where we say uh, the line through a point, okay? So we have been given this point, so we say a solution down here, okay? Say the solution down here, that is for A, okay? So we have been given a point, um, let me say it's point A, uh, it is 2,4,5, and uh, is perpendicular to the plane and the plane that we are given is um, 3x plus 7y minus uh, 5 um, minus 5y okay is equals to is equals to 1 sorry is equals to 21 and we have to find the equation of the lines okay <coughs> in, in this case just the line that we're going to find okay so um what do you do? Okay, what do we do in this case? Okay, what do we have to do? So, uh, we have been told that um, the equation of the line that we have, okay, it is a line through this particular point that we have here and is perpendicular to um, this plane that we have. So it's important to understand what these mean because they are going to guide us in terms of um, what we are looking for. Okay, so uh, we can talk about a vector here. Okay, so when you have a vector perpendicular to the plane, okay, when you have a vector perpendicular to the plane, so the vector that, the, the vector that is perpendicular to this plane um, <coughs> is the one that we are going to use. Okay, so because the, the the parametric equations that we have that we have to find, they are going to be in the form x is equals to um, x naught plus a a t. You're going to have y is equals to y naught plus b t, and you're going to have z is equals to um, z is equals to uh, that is z naught plus uh, C T there. Okay, so this is what is going to help us. And if you look at this, we already have our x naught, y naught, and z naught, which is this one. This one is our x naught. Um, that's our y naught, and that is our z naught. So what we are looking for is just the values of the values of a, b, and c. Okay, so that is um, actually the vector. Um, that is more like the direction vector for. Uh, that is perpendicular to um, this uh, this plane that we have here. Okay, so the question is, how do we um, how do we find it? So remember to say the standard equation of the plane is simply ax uh, plus by plus cz plus d is uh, plus d is equals to zero. Okay, so it, we're just basically picking the coefficients of what the coefficients of x, y, and z. That is going to give us um, the vector that is perpendicular to this plane, and that is one that we're going to use here. Okay. So, in this case, we observe that our a is equal to 3, um, our b is equal to 7, our c is equal to minus 5. So, that's going to be uh, 3, our vector, okay, our vector is going to be 3, comma 7, comma minus 5. That's the one that we are going to, that we are going to use. Okay, so this now tells us to say uh, we can conclude with our equations uh, of the plane that can be in this form. We say x is equals to um, our x naught. Our x naught in this case is a two. Uh, our a is a three, so that's going to be plus three plus three t. Okay, then y will be equals to our y naught is a four. Okay, then b is positive so i'm going to say positive 7 or plus 7t they're like that then for the z 
okay z z naught is positive 5 then my c okay c is negative 5 so that's going to be minus 5 t and this is basically how we uh, come up with the um, equations of the, of the plane through that point perpendicular to the plane okay so this is these are the equations of the line and that's how we find that one Okay, so let's look at uh, the next example, uh, which is example B in this case. So that's our B right there. Okay, so um, what information do we have in terms of B? Okay, so we have been given a point quite all right. Let's also name this as point A, which is uh, 2, 3, 0 there. Okay, so we are told to say it's a line through this point uh, perpendicular to um, perpendicular to the vectors we have this vector and we have this vector here so you have been given a point this is a point the point that you are given is a, it's more like it's, it's a line like this then you pick a random point for example here this can be point a okay maybe that is the, the point that is 2 comma 3 comma 0 okay then you're looking at the, the um, you're looking at the equations of the line that um, the equations of the line through this point and perpendicular to a given plane okay um, sorry perpendicular to uh, perpendicular to given vectors which is this vector and that vector there okay so here is um, here is what we need to do okay so let me name my first vector as vector um, u okay we say u is equals to i plus 2j plus 3k then the other one as v okay is equals to 3i plus 4j plus 5k okay so what we need to do is to find the direction vector okay so we need to find the direction vector from these two vectors that we have here okay we need to find the direction vector so uh, the way our direction vector is going to be that's actually the one that we're going to use so to get the direction vector here between vector u and vector v is we have to use the cross product okay and i believe we are familiar with that if you're not don't worry i'm going to try to explain it in the best way that i can okay so the cross product here we're just, we're just going to cross we say vector u cross vector v this is not multiplication sign okay so don't mistaken uh, the two so that's not um, the multiplication sign okay uh, so this is the way it's going to be here you're going to have your i then your j and your k okay so here i'm going to have the coefficients of the uh, of what i have here so in this case the coefficient of i is negative one uh, then for j it's a 2 for k it's a 3 then getting to the other one that is vector v that is be that would be a 3 4 and 5 okay so my direction vector my direction vector d in this case I'm just can indicate it as d it's going to be equals to so I have to compute for the i for the j and for the k okay so the way I do it is this way if I'm taking into consideration my i okay I'm just going to find the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix here okay that's how I find it then if I'm taking into consideration the J I just have to find the determinant for this matrix here that includes that okay it's a 2 by 2 matrix but it includes this and that okay so if you have to take into consideration or we have to find for the k in terms of the k or the z which is this one you have to find the determinant for this portion here okay so let's go ahead and do it so uh, I'm just going to put brackets here I'm just going to put brackets I'll try to take this uh, step by step as much as I can so the determinant remember is the major diagonal minus the minor diagonal so in this case it's 5 multiplied by 2 okay so this 5 multiply that 2 multiply by that 5 then we subtract minus uh, 4 multiplied by 3 what do we get so you say 4 multiplied by 3 then I'll close 
then I'll say this is the eye. Okay, so let me just try to create some space. Okay, like that. So that's what we have in the eye. Let's go ahead and find the others. So I'm going to say minus. Uh, remember to say the for um, for a matrix, a three by matrix, a three by three matrix. The sign convention is if you have let's say a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, a nine. Okay. So for this part, this is going to be positive, that's going to be negative, and that's going to be positive. If you to, if it was going to be a 3 by 4, meaning here it's going to be negative, so that's how the signs change there. Okay, so it's just a sign convention. Then uh, for this part, remember for the J, uh, we're going to say the major diagonal is still minus the minor diagonal. So the major diagonal includes this. Okay, that's the major diagonal. So it's minus 1 multiplied by positive 5 minus. Okay, minus 3 multiplied by 3. I've just done it from that there. Okay, so that is in the, in the J plus. So in the K, we have uh, this part here. That's our 2 by 2 matrix. So the major diagonal is minus 1 multiplied by 4 minus 3 multiplied by 2 in the K. So you're looking for the direction vector, keep in mind. So this is going to be equals to. So 2 multiplied by 5 is a 10. Then 4 multiplied by 3 is a 12. Okay, so we have a 10 here minus 12. So 10 minus 12 is going to give us minus 2i. Okay, so for this part, minus 1 multiplied by positive 5, that's going to be um, minus 5. Okay, minus 3 by 3, it's 9, like that. Then um, we're going to get, I think, negative 14. Yeah, then negative times this negative is going to be positive. So that's going to be positive 14j, like that. Let's look at the k. So this is going to be minus 4. That will be minus 6. And hence, we are going to get... Uh, minus 10, so that's going to be minus 10 k, like that. There we have it. That's the direction vector that we were looking for. Okay, that's the direction vector that we are looking for. Okay, so, uh, from this direction vector that we have, which is minus, minus 2, um, maybe I can simplify it this way. Or well, let me just write it the way it is. So minus 2i plus 14j minus 10k. So this is our a here, and this is our b. Um, and this is actually our c. Okay. So why am I talking about them? It's simply because we said our x is going to be equals to x0 plus 80 y will be equals to y naught plus bt then z is going to be equals to z naught plus ct that's how we find them so here we're going to say x is equals to x naught is just a 2 then a is minus 2 that would be minus 2t like that then y will be equals to y naught is a 3 then plus our b is positive 14, say 14 t. Then z is e z is equals to um, is equals to our z naught is zero, okay. Then our c is minus 10, so minus 10 t. So we can actually simplify this one and just write it as z is equals to minus 10. And those are the equations of the line passing through that point, which is 2, 3, 0 and perpendicular to two vectors. So when you're given two vectors, you just have to find the direction vector of the two vectors. And that is by uh, using the cross product. So 
this is how we um, go about answering this question thank you very much for watching if this was helpful to you consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upload um, that are coming in the future and if there are further questions to this uh, feel free to leave it down in the comment section or you can get in touch with me using the whatsapp link in the description of this video thank you very much for watching once again and we'll catch you in the next one